When we think of summer, we think of fun in the sun, time off doing nothing that we believe will prepare us for the next school year. Wrong, say neurobiologists like Martin Corta. Summers off are one of the main reasons for underachievement in education. As a matter of fact, you can lose knowledge you have already acquired if you do not actively use that knowledge. It's a process you might be familiar with. Take foreign languages, French, for example. You go to Paris and ask yourself, why did I actually learn that for six years in school? There is simply nothing left. Our brain takes two steps back when we do not exercise it during the summer holidays. But isn't there a genuine need for mental relaxation as well? It's rather important during the holidays that there are times when they do not have to bother about school. Summer holidays have not been invented to please neurologists. They've been invented to give kids a chance to have other learning opportunities outside of school. It's not just about finding the right balance between doing nothing and occasional study. It's also important to understand that kids create positive moments during their summer off. They should be doing more than just playing games on their phone. The brain remembers in the following way. The faster a day goes by because it was spent traveling or with friends or because we've experienced something remarkable, the longer it will remain in our memory. A day during the holidays where we didn't do very much is like a void in the brain, almost like a lost day. So are there any subjects where our knowledge is particularly at risk during a summer off? It's especially foreign languages that suffer if they're not being used. In general, it's those subjects relying on a big factual knowledge, history or geography, for example. Although one could say those can be reacquired quickly, which is not the same for languages. Catching up on those can take much longer. Experts like Martin Corta strongly recommend summer camps or other organized activities. The effects are highly beneficial, as Corta knows from his own experience having run various activities during summer himself in the past. I can assure you that at the end of such activities, I sometimes had kids crying because they did not want to go home. They weren't crying because it had been terrible at the camp, but because they felt they had just spent 17 days in paradise. They had many valuable experiences among a community of like-minded kids, and this meant a lot to them personally.